Your rub is sufficient for you. Therefore, if you are threatened by the enemies, or they are trying to, by fear is a bit, the fear, the terror is the modern technology by which the oppressors control weaker people. You will be very strong person if you look in the eyes of the oppressor. The terrorist and say, look here, do what you can do. You have no power in hand. My Allah is sufficient as my helper. Do what you can, do it. And be calm, very relaxed. Don't let anything, you know, disturb your peace of mind. Remain calm and poised. Then we will say that you have understood Holy Quran and are following it. Otherwise, you will just like a duck thrown in the pond and came out, you know. Today, O oh Mumineen, do not fear them, but fear me. Today, Al Yawm, I have perfected your deen for you. SubhanAllah. Deen, Islam is not religion, as people translate. Religion is as understood in the West is collection of rituals, worships, you know, throwing the water and all that like this, putting wafer in the mouth, you know, and wearing beautiful frocks and putting big caps on the head, you know, walking, sitting in a planking carried by many people, you know, going to all these things and saying things which nobody understand, you know, all things are religion. Islam is deen. Word is deen. Allah used word deen. Today I have perfected your deen. Deen means the way. You understand? The doctrine. The total, total social, moral, economical, political system. Divinely inspired. Divinely introduced through revelations and messenger. He started this process of completing deen al-Islam from Adam and perfected on that day of, you know, where Rasulullah at the Hajjat al -Vira. On Friday, you know, at Arfa, this came, came down after Juma. When this ayah, only this ayah in Surah Al-Mahdah is Makkah. When this ayah was sent down, Al-Jawma akmaltu alakum deenukum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati wa radaytu lakum al-Islam deena. Has almost started weeping. Weeping. You know? Rasulullah said, Ma yubki ka Umar? Umar, why you are weeping? He said, with this very thought, made me weep. That as long as we were progressing in our deen, things were going on. But once a thing is complete, then, you know, Things start, stop, meaning thereby that once deen is complete, then of, of course you will be called back. That's what it is. There's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the, he giving concessions after concession, making deen al-Islam very easy. People in the past had to struggle very hard, you know. They had to do ibadah and zikr for 80 years to, you know, gain some, gain some grade 
in spiritual, uh, you know, spirituality, then the hollow would appear over their head. But here, Allah Ta'ala has made something because he, whereas he declared that dead meat and that thing haram, but he is very much aware of the people's problem. Sometimes they're traveling and they are caught. There's nothing to eat for them. You know, there's nothing to quench their thirst. What to do then? Allah is Rahim and Kareem, most merciful. And he said, the ayah number three. You know? And if anyone is compelled by hunger, you know, If anyone is compelled with hunger, thirst, you know, it, then with no intention of transgression or for a player, you know, then Allah is indeed most forgiving and merciful. Meaning thereby, that thing which we have declared wrong, but if during crisis somewhere you cannot survive, you have no way except to eat dead meat, then you may use as much as is necessary or drink just to save your life. For in Allah Rahim, Allah Ta'ala is very kind and merciful. 